At the moment, villagers are finding it difficult to have access to the much-needed services due to non-availability of access roads. Councillor Damien Mangambai indicated that the constituency recently lost two family members from suspected food poisoning, saying that their lives could have been saved if there had been better roads leading to that village. And in, unfortunately, it happened at the Shamungaro village where we lost uh, two family members because there was no interventions of any transportation or ambulance to reach the area on time. And unfortunately, we lost those two people because nobody could assist them. Magambai further observed that there is also a need for the government to start developing inland villages as residents there feel neglected and isolated from the rest 32 years after independence. Therefore, we call upon the responsible institutions, especially the Light Ministry, Minister of Works, Transport and Communication, to look to the master plan of the region to ensure that what we have planned as our priorities for feeder roads in the region should be implemented. We are now 32 years and still we are struggling to have better roads, better access roads. He maintained that people living in the hinterland also need to enjoy the fruits of independence like any other Namibian. Magambai made the remarks at the belated independence celebration which was held at Mukongonjoti village over the weekend.